Hey guys, this is Kevin, and today we're going to walk through three different tips that you can use on your design projects um, while using Sketch. So let's just jump right into it. So first of all here, what we have on the screen is just a map dashboard on Sketch that you can download on um, sketchresources.com. Uh, and the tip number one that we're going to go through is symbols. So symbols are really useful because they sort of organize your artboard and allow you to um, duplicate different edits over many different artboards. So here we have a symbol right here, a header and a main menu. Um, basically a symbol is a group of elements that you can create into sort of like a master layer. So if you double click on this, you go to the symbol area where you can see um, all these different elements on a single artboard and it applies to everything on your sketch file. So think of this as like a master page in InDesign or um, a master slide in PowerPoint. If I were to go to this search text right here and type in um, search here and here in capital letters and then return back to my artboard, it automatically um, corrects this. And if I had this exact symbol duplicated on many other artboards, it would edit that at the same time as well. Another cool thing is if you click on this once and look at the right hand column you see Molly Jennings in oval or search here as different edits and this allows you to go in and type in different things like Kevin G um, and see it live edited onto your symbol. So this is really useful because um, if you wanted to create a header for multiple artboards that change over time what you can do is go into the symbol double click on it change this so that it master copies to everything go back to the instance and let's say screen one has uh, the name Kevin G and screen two had the name Molly Jennings you could have the same symbol for both artboards but only edit one of the names in the other um, in the other symbol and as you can see here this header is a group in a folder which means you don't have that option that you have when you have it as a symbol so that's tip number one so now moving on to tip number two which is using command to select different elements within a group. Now when you're working in Sketch, you have a bunch of groups. We have, we've got the map group, current trips group, and if you're making a dashboard or an app, you're definitely going to have folders on folders um, in your layer selection. So a good way to select different items within a group without having to expand the actual folder is holding command, clicking on the element that you want to select and this allows you to edit it immediately and it gets you the folder opened up to that specific point so this rectangle right here is within group 5 of group 1 of select info within the map that we've just selected so this makes it much easier to select whatever item you're trying to go for and you can edit it on the right hand column another thing is if you hold command and double click on it you can edit the um, selective points on the shape so in this case it's just a normal rectangle if I want to make it a rounded rectangle, select the first point, hold shift, select the right, the right bottom, and that one. Go to radius and type in like 8 or something. And right there, it changes your um, item into a rounded rectangle from a normal rectangle. So if you want to uh, change text, hold command, click on it twice, and now you can change the text element. Same thing with this blue button right here. Let's say I want to make it red. I hold command, click on the blue button. Go to fills and change it to a red color. So that's just a quick tip um, that's really useful when working in Sketch because you can select different elements within a layer um, with just holding command. And that's really useful when you want to just um, isolate a different layer and change the color or the text or the opacity or something like that. And lastly, tip number three, it's about selecting different colors quickly using the color selection tool and creating a color palette within like 10 seconds. So we've got a dashboard over here with current trips. Let's say I want to change this square to another color. Hold command, click on it. You can go to fills on the right side and use the color selector or change the color or whatever. But another cool tip is if you hold control C, the color picker automatically comes up and you can change it to whatever color you want. On the artboard, on the screen, it's just your whole computer screen. 
So I can change it to this blue right here if I just target it. Or if I hold uh, control C one more time and I just wanted to make it a gray in the top left corner of my screen, it can do that too. And this is super easy when you're trying to just test different colors out because you just hold control C, select on anything within your canvas or artboard, and it automatically selects that shape into another color. And to make a quick color palette, all you have to do is make several squares. So just hold shift and make a square by clicking on R. Control C, Control V, drag it. Control C, Control V, drag it. Click on the first one. Press Control C. Choose one of the colors within your artboard. Click on the next one. Do the same thing. And then let's get this orange right here. And right there, within 10 to 15 seconds, you have three colors that are related to the color palette on that artboard. And it's really useful when you're trying to gain an idea of what that specific artboard looks like in color. And this is super useful for grayscale wireframes because you can easily do this uh, within a matter of minutes and it gives you a taste of what that range is. So for grayscale wireframes, you get sort of a dark to light range of different grays utilized in a way where you just press control C and you have three to five different rectangles that you can utilize to show to the client, customer, or whoever you're showing this to. Cool guys, so that's three different tips that you can use when using Sketch. Um, if you're starting out, this is really good practice for you to utilize within your projects. And if you already know these things, it's just great to reinforce these ideas because I've had projects before where I haven't used any symbols and that's screwed me over in the long run because I've got to go through 20, 50 different artboards and manually um, change a certain text or a certain color. And that honestly takes like 30 minutes to an hour just doing one little change. So if you work with symbols, if you use a color picker um, and you use command to select different objects within a group, it'll save you a lot of time in the long run and it's good practice when you're dealing with technical things in Sketch, Photoshop, or other tools for design. So again, thank you guys for watching. Hope this helped you out a little bit. If you guys have any more questions on Sketch or other tips and tricks, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get to it immediately. Um, and again, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace.